second race of the day. Alinghi Red Bull Racing, Enios Britannia. Alinghi Red Bull Racing get the green light. They are good to go into the start box, waiting now for Enios Britannia at the two minute mark. Tiny bit behind, but time this is pretty much spot on. They get the green light as well. So here we go, second race of the day, the Louis Vuitton Cup semi finals. Slow increase in breeze, so should see some slight increase in performance and speed. They look early, I think they're too, yeah, too early. They're staying low, they uh, below 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 below. 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 Happy to plenty of time, happy to extend behind them. Yeah. 12 below for the here. They're already low in the box, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Below where we below commit. I think you're happy to let them go. Board up and high road. Okay, two, one, go on board, go mate. Okay, 23s, killing 12, 22s. Yeah, happy to go, yeah. Well, okay, when we can. Yeah. 22, 21. Yeah. 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 Three on the exit. Looks like three. final approach three. for three. Ineos Britannia. They're just using a little bit of speed there. A lot of time to kill there for the British. You see the time to kill graphic on the mastheads of both boats, so almost showing the Swiss there a fraction late. So really, really big push now for the Swiss team to accelerate the boat. They will come in over speed compared to the British. Inside the last 10 seconds, this is the second race of the day in the Louis Vuitton Cup semi-finals. Top qualifier on your left, Enios Britannia facing up against Lingy Red Bull Racing, and we are good to go off the coast of Barcelona. Yeah, they're big game to Alinghi Red Bull Racing there. Both boats actually late for the start, so possible lull in breeze. Both boats late there. Expect Alinghi Red Bull Racing to hit the British in the first attack of the race. Beautiful start by the Swiss, and now with that wide, that gapping off the opposition, it's so strong, isn't it? With both boats being late, it sort of evened the course up, and uh, that gave the advantage to um, to Alinghi Red Bull Racing. I was a little bit surprised that the, the Ineos didn't push harder for the line because the line was open for them. Now we've got another classic race, and uh, who has the speed? Who's faster? Both boats heading over towards the city side or over to the right, and that uh, the window of the course looks a little bit more even than it did for the first match. Coming down to us in 10 here. Could be lefty. Ineos Britannia actually closing that gap. They did so well positioning. No, they've done. They've kept their air intake clean the whole way across here. So absolutely doing the best possible job they can after that uh, late start. So what Alinghi Red Bull Race need to do now is they actually need to hurt them on the next tack. So they haven't really put them in the dirty air as yet. They will need to line them up on this next one to take an advantage. Lengi Red Bull Racing pushing all the way to ley line here. They'll have to be careful of the boundary. So Lengi Red Bull Racing tacking there on what they think is potentially the ley line there for the top of the course. So they'll be hoping they can get a little lift there, a little right hand breeze and accelerate the boat up to speed and save themselves one manoeuvre versus Ineos. Another fascinating first upwind leg, but at this point in time, it's advantage a Lingy Red Bull racing, but not by much. They will lead the challenger of record at the top gate. Leg one's done, five to go. It's a long way. And in goes Enios Britannia. Nothing in the second race of the Louis Vuitton Cup semi-finals. 
Probably here, isn't it? Really good breeze on our. Yeah, it's all coming down anyway, off the course at the moment. We're just getting in front of it. Fucking in. Gonna get light in a minute. Okay, working up. Eventually, this is the race the committee. We are the moving the windward Hello? gate, shortening yeah. the course to 1.45 nautical miles. Okay. Indy Red Bull Racing, they're possibly jiving back a little earlier than I would have thought they would have backed through the gas and dirty air there. So, big gains there to Ineos Britannia, all getting quite high there and healed. So, that rudder only just in the water there for the British. So they're the right of way boat now, a Lingi Rebel Racing having to give way. And a high pressure jive here for a Lingi. No problem, lads. Nice work. Yep. Nice, lads. Okay. Should be along this way now, Sean. Little increase in three. In Ineos Britannia just blowing through to Lua there, so a lead change in this race. We've seen Ineos Britannia really quite quick in these conditions on the diamond legs. Good to have Pappy just sticking with them then and matching it. Yep. Full slap, coming down, down. Yeah, Glefty. Nice okay. A really nice puff out that uh, left hand side looking downwind in the Ospritania and beautiful jibe. You saw how quickly the boat hooked up out of it, which meant there was a good shift as well as pressure. So. Definitely picked the right way to go there. To the right. Well, we just know from all the other racing that uh, Ineos are really fast on the downwind leg. Also, the, uh, the left-hand side of the downwinds has been favoured. Seems like a little bit more pressure, especially on the downwind on the left. Lined up a couple of beautiful shifts and puffs down there, Shirley, and really, really done some damage against the Lingy Rebel Racing there. And I think mostly shift and puff related. They're obviously going well performance wise as well, but really lining up some nice ones there. Neos Britannia just doing a really nice job of lining up some good breeze and some good shifts on this, uh, on this upwind. And not really giving Alinghi Red Bull Racing any wriggle room at all. They've got some great vision up the course, the British, and the comms between Dylan Fletcher and Ben Ainsley really looking far up the course and out wide to what they're sailing into, so really sailing the boat well. This is Matt Gottrell, Olympic gold medalist rowing. It's quite a big heart rate. Right? <laughs> Phenomenal right athletes, all these cyclers. Yeah, yeah, they're just going to drive that boundary. A couple more puffs in. Open course for Haz. Has it look that side? Uh, just OK. It's yeah. pretty patchy again. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a slow turn there from the Lingi Ripple Racing on. I'm not sure. Almost an issue there. Not a good sign for the Swiss. Just looked like a super slow turn, surely, on board for that jibe. So I'm not sure what went on there. Just a really long, slow, coasty turn in sailing into light air. You've got to be able to get onto the power quicker than that in those conditions. So massive loss there. You see the distance, 36 knots versus 25 as they're sailing across the course to accelerate. A huge lead here to the British. We've seen some skids and some wobbles from the British as well over the last couple of weeks, so only just above that 20 knot sort of danger zone boat speed wise to keep the boat on the foils. It's definitely quite some light. puffs and lulls out there, yes. Yeah, it's definitely there light is. at this bottom half of the track. We're seeing sort of seven, eight knots. So where Alinghi Red Bull Racing came off the foils, the British will be heading up into that lighter air section, so... Snakes and ladders. Ineos Britannia have won their first race in the Louis Vuitton Cup semi-finals, and they have that in style. And again, they have made a monster statement. We are quick. Confirmation then of race one and what they call semi-final one because Ineos Britannia were the top qualifier. Nice job, Shrekki. 